Hey you guys, Anfinum here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is the Aether Mod Adventure, episode 14. And uh, I bet you guys have probably been wondering where this whole series has been ever since the Aether has been updated, and I can assure you 99% uh, of the reason why I haven't made an episode since the update is because I could not get this map to work properly. Um, and I'll get into that all that here in just a second, but first I gotta go into the world so that these Zephyrs do not like shoot me to death here in the main menu. Um, let me get inside here really quick, and so I can just explain the whole situation. Um, as quickly and swiftly as I can. So essentially what's been going on is that I could not get this map to load up properly. Though, however, a lot of people were telling me that, you know, older maps just, you know, they just weren't compatible. But uh, on the forum thread, it said that they may not be compatible. And the reason why I wasn't buying that is because I actually did get this map to load up one time. One time and one time only. And uh, after that, the map just sort of overrode itself and I couldn't get it to load again. But luckily, I kept like 17 backups of this thing because I didn't want to lose it. And with good reason because there was quite a lot of work put into this so yeah i put a lot more uh, effort into trying to fix it and earlier today you know for a couple of hours i you know i gave it a lot of effort i just reinstalled the aether you know uh, from a fresh jar file again for the second time and tried to get all of it to work and it just kind of magically did so you know i got myself into this location with my black moa because this was a an older backup and we're just gonna go from here and we're gonna check out some of the new updates so i'm not gonna be using my black moa on the mainland like i suggested at the end of the last episode though however this is not like some giant big triumphant return of the aether though if i do end up missing anything that is really key and very important then be please be sure to let me know um, but I am gonna end up missing a lot throughout this whole thing because I haven't read and memorized every single patch note or anything like that but you know I have you know taken a couple of notes you know for things that we're gonna be able to check out in this episode so anyways let's just go ahead and let's take our black moa and let's get out of here so essentially what was going on is like the land as you see it now was generating like I said that one time but then it would get overwritten with the blank slate of land like you know anything that i had modified did not change oh crap did you just get hit black moa mm. what should i name you i think i should name you like samuel l jackson or something i don't know you're just like you're just you're just one bad motherfucker <laughs> yeah i you, you should i i should get you a wallet that that says that that would be that would be original on so many levels <laughs> But yeah, so uh, I deleted a whole bunch of chunks, you know, uh, you know, map chunks, so that when I end up traveling out in this direction, we're going to end up getting some of the new land and, uh, you know, some of the new features so we can just uh, go ahead and check them out for ourselves. So yeah, I think the old silver dungeon that I had gone to way off in that direction is now gone. So we're just going to have to say bye bye to that. Um, but I think we did say bye bye to it at the end of the last episode or the episode previous to that. I'm not really too sure which episode it was, but I can assure you that it was one of those episodes. So, yeah. All right. Um. OK, so what are we doing at this point? I just kind of noticed that like the 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 little feather bar thing for the MOA overlaps the the hunger bar. That's kind of weird. But, okay, I think, like, it's not used to where the hunger bar is and the experience bar, so it's, like, it's where it would have been, but, like, it's not in the proper location at all. So it seems like we're in this new location here. Let me go ahead and let's take a look around here. You seem like you are just rejecting this idea altogether. You're just shaking your head. You're like, no, 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 don't let me here. Don't let me here. And I, I assure you, Mo, I, I, well, I do see tornadoes around here and stuff, but... Hmm. Let me get one of these bunnies on my head because they like soften your fall even though it's a little bit weird to just have them riding around on your head um, I'm just gonna go with it for now, and we're gonna you know, we're gonna try some of the stuff out. Whoa, what's up with all these snowballs? Like I understand the concept. Whoa, I jump a lot higher than I would have expected uh, having this bunny on my head All right, um let me see here. I'm going to get on top of my moa. Eh, actually, no. What I wanted to do is get on top of like one of those crystalline trees that I just saw, but I'm not seeing it. Why is this tree cut off like this? That is so awkward. Like, but this tree's not cut off or anything, and that one's not cut off. So, I don't even know. All right. So, there's presents over here. We must open the presents. We must open the presents. Yes. Nice. All right, gingerbread men. Um, I'm, I'm assuming they heal or something like that. Um, let me just get the snowballs out of my inventory here. Um, no, I, I, I don't know. I need to look up what they do. You guys need to look up what they do for me. Um, I'm guessing, maybe I don't know, maybe I can feed them to something. Ah, there's just nothing but evil around here. They're trying to ruin my Christmas. All right, let's, let's do this. Ah, it's TNT. That's right. 
<laughs> I, I messed with the I messed with this mod a little bit when I uh, ended up getting it to work the first time on like a fresh map, but you know I didn't mess around with it too much. All right, so let's see. Can I get anything from this? Whoa! No, I did not want to kill you. I, that was not my intention. Like you really need to be like invulnerable to my hits when you're on top of my head. Is this like morally correct for me to be chopping down this Christmas tree here? Like I know I'm, I'm like I'm chopping down all the Christmas spirit that's apparently merged with another tree. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just like getting rid of a deformity or something. I I, I couldn't even tell you. So yeah, there's also these blue bushes over here that drop blue berries. Um, let me see here. Oh, okay. So it apparently. Hmm. Okay. So I got a blueberry, but there's still a blueberry on the ground. I'm guessing that's like a glitch or something. So, hmm, that was really weird. But, uh, yeah, these blueberries, um, yeah, uh, these bushes can drop anywhere from zero to two berries, and I think they heal a little bit, but, whoa! And you can also get, like, uh, blueberry stems from them, or maybe you can just plant the blueberries in the ground. I'm not really too sure. Let me see. Let me try and eat one of them here. Um, let's see. No, I can't eat them, and but I can throw them. I mean, they look they look like little bombs from like the Legend of Zelda or something. I'm sure you guys remember that if you end up playing the Legend of Zelda. So yeah, all right, you. I need another one of you. Okay, where's my Moa? I hope I haven't lost you yet. All right, let's get out of here. Um, I need to find myself one of these new trees, not one of the Christmas. Ooh, there's another present. Oh, cockatrice though. Uh, that's bad news bears. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. All right. But yeah, I want to check out one of these crystal trees without hopefully getting myself killed because there's something new about these things. And what's... Hmm, I don't remember the yellow sand ever floating. I'm going to have to check this out. Okay, is this like the speed sand or something? Yeah, okay, so this is the speed sand. But I mean, with all these Zephyrs coming after me, I really can't afford to be going after this stuff. It's, I'm not sure if this Black Mo is actually receiving damage, but that would kind of suck. Because, like, there's just, like, a million Zephyrs around me. Like, let me try and get them all here. I know, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> oh, that was so cruel. Alright, I'm gonna have to, like, get all these Zephyrs. Because this is just kind of annoying. Like, I can't, I can't explore anything with you guys around here. Get out of my face. Alright, uh, I need to get a little bit closer to them so that I can kill them. Because this is just outright annoying i can't go after like that's the crystalline tree i want to go after but with all these zephyrs after me it's just impossible and if i'm not mistaken that color blue like cloud over there is a slightly different color than the uh the bouncy cloud so i'm gonna have to check that out all right um so you 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 need to die oh god you you started receiving damage from my hit from my hit oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i need to get you away from here i don't know how many hits it takes for a black mo to die so, yeah. Oh, here's that slightly light and blue color. Okay, so that is the bouncy stuff. All right, so we got that one figured out. Okay. All right. Um, uh, I need to kill the Zephyr from down there. It's like, it's like hunt for the crystalline tree because I cannot... Ah, uh, get down. Get down. You, Moa, you. All right. Yes, I know that broke. Okay, so you're dead. Um, there's another one right there. I just killed you! Oh no! <laughs> I just killed my black ball. That that is really bad. But I mean, it was kind of like destined to be, you know. Like, th seriously, look at the radius on this thing. It's dumb. It's so stupid. But luckily, I have two black eggs back at home, so I can, you know, incubate a few more if I really want to. Now the biggest dilemma is how do I get up there? I think we're gonna have to like, <sighs> I'm gonna have to, you know, take some of this dirt here. And I'm just going to have to stack my way up to it. And I'll end up walking back home and I'll incubate another black moa. And I'll do all that off camera or something so you guys don't have to witness it. But it was, it's just kind of stupid just how big the range is on that. And I really wish like I was able to heal my black moa. At least by, you know, like with healing stones or something like that. And maybe I can, but I'm just, I haven't been aware of it. So yeah, the black moa did not last very long. So pro tip, if you're going to have a black moa try to avoid using a, a hammer of notch anywhere in the vicinity okay you guys are seriously gonna do this to me like this much you're not gonna let me get up to this stupid tree are you guys seriously gonna be this anal about this today all i want to do is get up to this tree and you know get myself some white apples because that's one of the new features of these or it's actually like the only feature of these things so okay okay are you guys gonna leave me alone White apple. White apple. Nice. Okay, so I got myself a white apple. I need to not get knocked off of this thing. 
Okay, I can't get knocked off from this angle unless I'm shot from that direction or that direction. Which I have the feeling is gonna happen. You, you go away. Go away. You go away. Oh, really? <sighs> well, I showed you guys the new feature of the crystal trees. Um, I'm not sure if that type of wood is anything too special, but I did get myself a white apple. And what white apples do is uh, they will cure you of any poison for six seconds. So if you get yourself attacked by, for example, like a... Uh, uh, what is it, like a cockatrice or something like that, then, you know, these will help, you know, aid your poison for a little bit, because the poison actually lasts for a pretty good length of time. Oh, nice. These things, like, absorb the hits from the zephyrs for me, so I don't get knocked around. Or maybe you just ended up landing a blow on the, on the, uh, you know, the, the bunny itself, so I'm not really too sure. So anyways, I'm thinking I want to explore like one more dungeon before this episode is out too, but I've been off in this direction before, so I don't really know, like, uh, I know that the dungeons, at least in my world, always ended up spawning really cool, so I'm not really, you know, it would be nice to be able to find something, but I don't want to go too far off the beaten path in order to end up finding one. Hmm, let's see, whoa, what is that? Oh, I thought that was like a staircase or something. Hmm, that was really weird. Alright, I think there's like a cockatrice down there. Um, I see water flowing everywhere. Hmm. All right, so it's time to head back home. Man, these things are so convenient just to not be able to, like, get hurt, you know, while falling. I should, like, always have one of these things around. Okay, so there's a dungeon right there. So let's go ahead and let's do a little bit of dungeon exploring in this episode before I go ending it off. But, yeah, the episode itself is not going to be terribly long, but if I end up missing, like, any excruciating details, then be sure to let me know in the comment section, and I'll see if I end up making anything about it. Because um, I read up on the patch notes, but, like I said, I didn't do any, like, in-depth, like, gotta know everything type thing, you know. So, yeah, um, let me right-click on a few of these, see if there's anything underneath. Um, doesn't seem to be anything too special. Ah! Seriously? See, that's what I mean. Like, those things should be invulnerable to your hits if you are, if it's on top of your head. Because clearly, if it's on top of your head, you you don't want to kill it, you know? Ooh, blue music disc. Very cool. A couple more abrosium shards. And something else I should probably point out about the abrosium shards is that you can no longer eat them. Whoa, okay. That's right. You, 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 you. <laughs> they don't die uh, by one shot to this thing anymore, so now they just go... <laughs> that is so much more satisfying. Okay, you guys need to go away. So you can also uh, use Ambrosium Shards on grass uh, in order to enchant the grass. Like, uh, the grass will turn like a yellow color, I think. And it'll become enchanted, so any crops that you put on it will, you know, it'll improve their crop rate. So, yeah, what is the strategy I had for this guy? I think it was, like, I had to go to... Oh, no, not quite, not quite that far away, but like, one, two, three, four... It was like one, two, and then I went up this way, waited for him to come up. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted. I'm already too sure. All right, drop. No, nah, you're not dropping. Crap. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. All right. Let's, oh, there we go. Now you dropped. Okay, cool. There we go. So now this is the e this is the easiest. No, crap. Ah, uh, you're not like... No, crap. Okay. So I'm just going to like... All right. So all I can use is this pickaxe in order to kill you. I really wish you would drop down just like a little bit lower. That would be so convenient right about now. But you still are a really easy boss to kill, you know. It's kind of funny though that it just says the slider. You know, it doesn't actually give its official name because that was never updated in the Aether. You think that would be something that they probably would have thought about. So yeah, alright. Let's just go ahead and let's take out this boss here. You were just, you were just, you were, ah, you were seriously just as simple as you always were in the past. Except this time I'm not able to use the glitch thing on you. Ah, crap. Okay, so that did not work. Let's try this out. Nope, that ain't working either. Alright. I just wanted to get myself up really quick. Okay, so... Uh, you're able to travel across the entire board. Alright, so I pretty much put myself in an impossible position to even think about uh, getting you to... Ow! To think about even getting you to... to get trapped. So, yeah. Alright, please, just die already! Just die! God, I hate these things. It's like, yes, I understand you are this easy. You don't need to, like, have your health be ridiculously high or anything like that. Maybe I'll get one of, like, the new treasures or something like that. That would be really cool. Wow, your hits, like, do nothing on me these days because of the whole health meter thing and health regeneration. Seriously, your hits are like... Oh, okay, there we go. I got you trapped. 
So this is how you get this boss trapped. He, he tries to move and he just can't do it and he dies. Alright, there we go. Like a bossaroo. That's like the 17th time I've gotten this achievement because of the amount of times I switch out my jar files. So another new feature of the Aether, which is not really a feature, but when you use your key, it doesn't disintegrate. Um, and there's, you know, there's a pretty decent amount of reasoning behind that. Reason being, um, let me get rid of the string here and the saplings. But the reason being is just that, like, you can't access the dungeon chest anyway, so I guess they thought it was, like, a good idea to make it so it doesn't use up the key. I personally think that that was just, like, useless. It's just sort of like, why? You know, there, there's, there's no need, really. So, yeah, let's see if there's anything beneath all of this. This is a really convenient way to, like, make a staircase or something like that if all you have is holy stone in your way. It's just like, welp. Alright. Alright, um... Oh, okay, nice. I found some xanite underneath this whole thing. All right, I'll t I'll take that. I guess um, if you're gonna if you are gonna give me xanite, I am going to take my pickaxe to your face and mine it up, and I'm uh, and I'm gonna be able to make myself some new armor at the same time because I'm running a little bit low on uh, some of this. All right, let me go mining through this here just a, just a little bit. Like my curiosity is like mine this way, mine this way. Okay, there's, there's nothing off in this direction. So we're going to get out of this here. We're going to get out of this area. We're going to go back, and I'm going to start incubating a... Uh, I'm going to start incubating an, uh, another... Whoa! Okay, I made that look really weird. Okay. I'm going to start incubating a, another Black Moa. So, yeah. All right. And then, you know, if I do end up doing another episode, then I will... Oh, crap. Ooh, that's not good. All right, I think it's time that I eat, that I get my hunger up here. Whoa! Oh, crap. Um... White apple. Okay, white apple. Okay, now... Oh, okay. So that also helped to heal my hunger as well. Whew, that was, like, extremely convenient. Well, it's only gonna get it for six seconds, so I really need my health to just heal up here. Okay. Alright. Maybe... Wow, these white apples, man. These white apples, man. The, the, that's some convenient stuff right there. I didn't think I was going to have the opportunity to use it in this episode, but I got absolutely sniped by that, uh, by that cockatrice there. All right, I need to head back home. So home is off in that direction because I recognize that tower. And I'm just going to have nothing but these guys just coming after me. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. Hopefully I can find myself a bunny or whatever they're called in the Aether. Um, oh, crap. Crap. I need to get out of here. Okay, there's just cockatrices everywhere, man. I think the spawn rate on these things got buffed or something. You, no. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about coming towards me with your attitude problems right now. All right. Uh, okay. So let's get out of here. I don't know why I was thinking of binding any of that up. All right. Um, so there's not a two, there's not a whole lot more that's gonna go on in this episode. Oh crap! I went off in the wrong direction. Well, not the totally wrong direction, but I went off on the wrong cliff face. So I need to head back down here. Um, well, my hunger bar's full, so it'll heal up anyways. Uh, jump. Oh, okay. I probably could have just walked over this way. So, ugh, ugh. It's just now it's like. Can Ant Venom get back home? Like, period. Does he have the necessary... S oh, okay. There's something else coming after me. There's still another one. Okay, you die. Go away. Alright, I need to head off in that direction. Ooh, and you poisoned me. That's great. Okay, and I'm gonna start moving around like crazy, which is going to suck. Yes, I realize this. So I'm just gonna try and keep myself, like, up against this wall or something. Because I got myself poisoned. Okay, well... You know, oh, yeah, see, like that. I don't want to go running myself off of the cliff or something. You know, I got to just, I really need to just push myself in the direction that I want to go, like, really heavily. All right, uh, let's mine this up here. There we go. Poison gone. Crisis averted. Uh, sweet. Sweetness. Did I almost just use my hammer of notch to just start mining stuff up? I think I did. All right, so where's my house? I think my house is, it's not over there, I don't think. Or maybe it's either right over there, like that. No, it's not over there. It's off in that direction. Uh, I know it's right. Okay, yeah. See, I can see my portal up there now. So, it's probably going to end up concluding the episode here in just a little bit. All right. There we go. See, you are what I needed right now. It's like I could have used you like 17 jumps ago uh, after I'd gotten out of that bronze dungeon. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of the Aether Mod Adventure. Um, I, I'm not sure how long it was or if I covered nearly enough of the new content, but I, 
personally, you know, unless there's some some sort of huge revamp with, you know, the Aether, I don't really feel it necessary to do anything too special with the Aether, though I should probably, let me enchant a piece of grass here really quick, you know, before I go ending off the episode. Yeah, enchanted grass for the win, yeah. Um, that's actually gonna bug me if I leave that like that, so let me get some dirt, let me, let me mine that up. There we go. Alright, I'm going to take all of this here. I don't even have enough abrosium to do it. Let's just do the- Oh, I can't do that on dirt. That's right. Um, I have to use the sweats from the gummy sw Or no, I have to use the, the sweaty balls from the sweats. Whoa, you got hit again? Um, did I- Oh, okay, I thought I hurt you with the tree or something. But yeah, so I have to use the sweats from- Or the sweaty balls from sweats. That's what they're called now. Um, or that's what the new items they drop are called in order to turn the dirt into grass So yeah, I would just have to wait for this to turn into grass, but for the time being let's do this Let's do a little bit of that a little bit of interior decorating our ex exterior decorating I think would be the proper term. Yeah, sweet sweet. It's enchanted and all that good stuff. We're gonna head back and I am going to incubate myself another moa <laughs> I am a cruel person. Hey, at least it's an easy way to get string without me attacking the thing. <laughs> I am seriously a cruel person. Alright, but anyways guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of the Aether Mod Adventure. Um, be sure to leave your thoughts and your feedback on the series um, in general in the comment section down below. I can't guarantee there is going to be another episode just because I have covered so much already in this LP. Um, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot left, but this was merely done on request, and I did want to, you know, cover the some of the new features of the Aether, but I didn't want to go too, too crazy, you know, getting another big series started or something like that. So, yeah, um, anyways, like I said, I hope you all have enjoyed this. My name is Avenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.